This video will cover the topic Finding X and Y Intercepts of the Graph of a Nonlinear Equation. In this topic, we will be given nonlinear equations such as y squared plus x minus 16 equals 0 and asked to find where the given curve intercepts both the x and y axes. The x-intercept is where y equals 0 and the y-intercept is where x equals 0, right? Exactly. This means that we substitute 0 for y to find the x-intercept and substitute 0 for x to find the y-intercept. Substituting 0 for y yields 0 plus x minus 16 equals 0. Thus, we can add 16 to both sides to yield our x-intercept, x equals 16. To find the y-intercept, we should substitute 0 for x, right? Yeah. The equation now reads y squared plus 0 minus 16 equals 0. Add 16 to both sides to set y squared equal to 16. Then take the square root of both sides of the equation. Recall that the square root of any number can be either positive or negative. In this case, the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4, because 4 squared is equal to 16, and negative 4 squared is also equal to 16. So for this problem, we would have two y-intercepts? That's right. For this problem, the y-intercepts are positive 4 and negative 4. Okay, I think I understand, but let's do another example, just to be sure. Alright, let's consider the example y equals 9 minus x squared over x squared plus 4. First, let's find the y-intercept. Substitute 0 for x to yield 9 minus 0 squared over 0 squared plus 4. Thus, the y-intercept is 9 fourths. To find the x-intercept, substitute 0 for y to yield 0 equals 9 minus x squared over x squared plus 4. To eliminate the fraction, multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, resulting in 9 minus x squared equals 0. Add x squared to both sides, then take the square root of both sides to yield the x-intercepts. Recall that both the positive and negative roots of 9 are counted as intercepts. Thus, the x-intercepts are positive 3 and negative 3. This makes more sense now. Let me summarize what we've learned. To find the y-intercepts, substitute 0 for x and solve the equation for y. To find the x-intercepts, substitute 0 for y and solve the equation for x. Lastly, remember to include both the positive and negative roots if the equation requires taking the square root of a number to solve. That's right. 